Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a little cauldron type gift box. Now this was a request following the pumpkin Halloween autumn gift box idea I did in a recent Sunday night YouTube live and once I'd made that little box I honestly can't remember who asked for it now but they wanted something similar done for a cauldron. So I'm going to show you how to make the basic shape in Scan and Cut Canvas online and then within your Scan and Cut machine in your pattern shapes I am sure that there are things like a cat or a witch's hat or bats things like that that you can decorate your box with. So it's really simple basic shapes I'm coming over here I'm going to grab a triangle, I'm going to grab a circle, I'm going to grab an oval and I'm just going to leave them all at the set size that they come in on the mat at. The first thing I'm going to do is bring the triangle over and pop it just into the circle and then I'm going to bring this oval and I'm just going to squash it down maybe three quarters of an inch high something like that and position that over the top of the circle but I'm going to squash the circle down as well so I'm going to squash it down so it's like a fat oval and I'm going to have to size the triangle down because although I want these bottom left and right points outside of the oval this middle point here needs to be within the oval because I'm going to weld everything. So I'm just going to bring that back over. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to come up to edit and align here on the center. And then I'm going to hit weld and see what happens. So I'm going to go to edit and weld. That looks okay, but not quite what I'm looking for. So I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to select the triangle and I'm going to drag it in just a little bit and then this top bit I may make a little bit higher. So again I'm going to select everything, edit, align center and then edit, process overlap, weld. I think that doesn't look too bad so what I'm going to do now I'm going to bring in another oval and I'm going to squash it down and drag it in a little bit just so it's going to fit within there. So if I colour the cauldron in black just to give you an idea and then if I colour this in a kind of a, a grey when that sits on top of there it's going to look like the top of the cauldron's open. So that's it really, that's my basic cauldron shape. So I'm just going to position that on top for now. I'm going to select both. Now to resize them in Canvas Online you've got to group them so I've got them both selected. I'm going to right click and make them a group and then I'm just going to drag this out until it's about maybe four and a half inches something like that. You can play around with this and make it as big or as small as you want. I'm going to select it again, right click and ungroup it and then just keep that bit separate. I'm going to make a duplicate of the main part because I need a front and a back. And then I'm going to come back to my basic shapes and I'm going to drag a rectangle onto the mat. I'm going to make it two and a half inches high or there or thereabouts and about seven long and this is going to be the, the part that makes the actual box so I'm not going to put score lines in on the machine because I don't like them I'm just going to cut this in a piece of black card to match the cauldron and then I'm going to apply a score line at half an inch on this top long side and the bottom long side and then I'm going to score at about two inches from the left edge and the right edge like I did when I made the pumpkin only I did make a bit of a mistake in the YouTube live I 
I think I'm, I cut my piece of card too narrow. So it ended up being a slimmer box than the original that I showed in that live. So I'm going to give the project a name and save it here into my Canvas projects. Then I'm going to download it to the machine and I'm going to cut it and then see what other elements there are within the scan and cut machine and decorate it. I may make this triangular base, I may just undo and make this triangular base a little bit more narrow, but I don't think it looks too bad for now actually. So that's how to make the basic cauldron shape and as I said I'm going to go over to the machine now, cut the file, decorate it up and we'll see how this one looks compared to the autumn stroke Halloween pumpkin style box I made recently.